Welcome to Colombia! Today we are going to visit the Hato San Pablo in Casanare, Los Chanos de Colombia! Welcome wonderful people all over the world. I'm really happy you tuned in today to this wonderful video and this adventure. I spent the uh, last 10 days in Yopal in a friend's house to relax because I was a bit stressed out. And this weekend I'm going to visit a Hato. This is a huge cattle ranch here in Los Chanos. I was looking for the route by myself, so I've been to a finca over there and they told me, yeah, you can drive, this is the way to San Pablo, but you will drive 100 meters and then you will be stuck because uh, it's rainy season and with this kind of car, no, you need a tractor. So they had a different number from somebody in San Pablo, so we called there and they said, okay, go to the bridge and we will send the boat. So I'm here, the, the bridge is over there and there's a little restaurant and the boats come here. In Colombia it might happen that things do not <laughs> go ahead like you, you plant them. So now we're improvising a little bit. I have no clue what's going to happen, so we'll see, we'll find out. And in this video you should actually wait and watch until the end because I will make for sure a conclusion. And I have my new audio toy and I will see what cool audio recordings and sounds I can get from here in the region and the channels. Let's see if we have monkeys, birds. We will find out in the conclusion later on in the video. So I'm here waiting for the boat. I think I will go there to the restaurant to have a coffee or a beer because it's uh, quite warm. And uh, yeah, always an adventure here in Colombia. So welcome guys to Atto San Pablo. It's Saturday morning. I arrived yesterday on Friday and I have to do some explanation because yesterday on Friday when I arrived here, actually not everything went as planned. So this is all a bit improvised, but I was actually on my way to visit Dato San Pablo and then on my way there I made new friends. I had lunch here and all my equipment is on the way by boat and we will take this little airplane to fly over to Dato San Pablo, which is uh, actually a neighboring uh, Hato and uh, interesting story and I will tell you more I think in a different video but this is my journey there to Hato San Pablo and you will see more of that and you see life is still interesting here in Colombia It's interesting, 
many of those hatos here in Los Llanos, they have a little air stripe, uh, landing stripe. So many people here have uh, airplanes and they, they can fly themselves or they have a pilot. And yeah, that's how they get in and out of Los Llanos from Bogota, for example. made a scenic flight and then we arrived here and they uh, received me, gave me a fantastic room and it's a fantastic place, it's beautiful, it's a gorgeous hato. You see here is right the river and you have all the animal noises, you hear birds and monkeys and, uh, and today we are going to explore a little bit uh, activities, we're going to do something with horses they told me. And uh, yeah, I'm really looking forward to it. It's to me uh, another day in Colombia paradise. And I'm so happy that I can show you that. So this is the big moment for me, <laughs> my happiness moment and for all of you who already saw different videos, they know what is coming now. I'm going to ride horses with the chaneros and uh, yeah, this is just great here in the Los Llanos because the chaneros, those cowboys, they grow up with the horses and they walk, ride horses, it's the same. They're a kind of symbiosis with those animals and it's just great and here on the Hato of course we saw how they uh, vaccinated the horses today and they gave them a haircut and now we're bringing back the horses and I can join them and I'm, <laughs> I'm really excited about that so let's go saddle the horses and into the prairie As you can see, now I'm a real chanero and I'm really happy. So this is me horse riding and now I show you my friends, the real chaneros. Those are the real cowboys of the chanos. <laughs> We just got back from our horse riding trip. We brought back all the horses to their place where they belong on the Hato and I love horse riding. It's so cool and this Hato is awesome. Right now it's rainy season and you can see uh, we arrived like 15 minutes ago and it's already raining again. But rain season does not mean it's raining all the time. It can rain once a day or a whole day, so everything is possible. But the terra, the site, like all the plain, it's, uh, there's lots of water, so we had to ride in water. And I think it was a Chano stroke. They gave me a very quiet horse because I guess they were very concerned about the Swiss guy with the blonde hair and the blue eyes that he doesn't know how to ride a horse. So it was very difficult to, to ride a little faster. And it also had very short legs. And that meant that I got a little wet, a little more wet than the Chinos guys with the horses with longer legs. But it was so much fun. The, 
The scenery is so beautiful, it's great. So now I'm going for lunch and you will see more of that hato right now. So welcome everybody. I'm here now on the Hato San Pablo with the bus, with Silvia, and we will discuss some um, different things, attributes about the Hato and activities and everything. But I think Silvia is the best. You will introduce yourself and mm -hmm. just tell us about your place. I'm just part of this team. Uh, this is a, a, a Nato. It's called, it's a Nato because it's a big farm where everything happens. Uh, especially the Janeiro's uh, activities, which is taking care of the cows, taking care of the horses, and having a sustainable uh, ecosystem that uh, returns to the to the land and to the people that have been here for more than than a century. So, Ato San Pablo was founded by your ancestors. Now, Ato San Pablo uh, was founded as Ato uh, by by my father. And uh, he was here for, for 50 years, uh, working as, as the white Janeiro, as they call him. Uh, he passed away, but uh, his, his presence is here. And we learned it from, from when we were born. And, and now we're part of it. And, and I'm leading the, the Ato now. And, uh, and now what we're doing with tourism is uh, sharing it, sharing the experience and and having people know this uh, beautiful paradise and their food, uh, their history, their music, uh, being able to work at, at the land with the horses and checking that, that, that we are working with the animals to give back to the animals, to give back to, to the people. And, and it's a beautiful experience that, that not everybody is able to have it. So you offer different types of accommodation. Um, there are two houses actually, which are very comfortable, oh, almost luxury, very good style, good design, um, but you have more. Yeah, uh, I think it's, it's for us, as, as everything, it depends on the, on, the, on the style of the person coming. But uh, as you're saying, initially it was very uh, basic, uh, standard uh, houses. Now we upgraded two of them, as you're saying, like uh, two suites with, uh, now we have uh, electricity, so it has uh, air conditioning, and and uh, one has a pool, and so it has very com very comfortable uh, accommodations. And uh, one is uh, also involved in the river, which is a very important part of of uh, of this experience. The sunsets and the and the, the when when you have the the moon, the full moon is very important. And you can feel that in, in, in the houses. And the other house also has its own pool. So it's uh, very comfortable. You can have the, the best of the two, the tale of two cities, as they say. So you have the wilderness, but you also have the comfortable uh, location and, and houses and all the services that it offers. So let's talk a little bit about the activities you offer for tourists. Um, Again, winter and summer give you different variety, but uh, as part of the Ato, uh, which is very unique of, of this Ato, because you may have other options, but not really being able to enjoy and share with the Janeros what happens every day here. So from bird watching, uh, um, fishing in the small rivers or in the big river, 
uh, sharing the activity of uh, of uh, of a cow cattle ranching, uh, picking up the cows from from 5 a.m. in the morning, uh, horseback riding, going with us uh, to pick up the cows and coming back and uh, putting all the all the marks on them, vaccinating them, um, and taking care of the cows, or even the same thing with the with the horses. The cows is a little bit longer because they go slower. Uh, it has a, a beauty of it and, and even a romantic uh, way of looking at it. And the horses are fast, but it's another romantic and another uh, activity very different than that. Um, you can also uh, uh, see what when they uh, tame them. Uh, it's a very uh, original from the Llano. So the um, the natural horses you have to tame them before before they are ready to to work so that's another activity and then let's talk a little bit about gastronomy what what kind of food and the uh, typical dishes do you offer okay so uh, we try to give because people are coming here and they want to taste it but also we we, we need to assemble a little bit of combination so Part of the food, as in all Colombia, but here in the Llanos, you have typical food that that they uh, that they that that, that we offer. Um, so the ternera la llanera is uh, is the cow, the, the small cow, the calf. It's made in a like in a type of a uh, fogata, typical uh, fogata, and it's very typical from Los Llanos. Uh, we generally, when we do that, we also sing. So it's the, the music that comes uh, surrounding the, the Ternera La Llanera. And there's a very big barbecue place right next to the pool, I saw. Yeah. So not only we do it typically, but also it's a, a nice area that we can, we share the river with the barbecue and, and people can be outside and, and enjoy not only the, the ato and the, and the view, but also being able to even cook with us. So how people can get here? Because we're not right uh, next door. Yeah, so you have a lot of options uh, depending on, on your need or, or also your capacity or the way to come here. Uh, it depends if you are in winter or in summer. In the summer you can come by car, you can come by plane. If you come from Bogota or from any other, on any other city, uh, you can uh, go to Yopal, the nearest town, and then uh, rent another plane and come here. So from, from Bogota to Yopal, it's around an hour in a commercial flight when the flights are open. And then it's like a half an hour in a smaller plane coming here. You can also come in a plane directly from Bogota, from Guaymaral uh, Airport, the private airport that is uh, going to Chia in Bogota. And uh, it's around an hour directly, 50 minutes to, to an hour from, from Guaymaral. Um, by car in the summer, you can go come from Bogota to Yopal and then from Yopal here, it's around two and a half hours. Uh, there is uh, people that are planning on coming already by uh, jeeps, for example, that's uh, interesting and they like to, that's very beautiful because you see all the paths coming here, is, you can share uh, and enjoy uh, different parts of the Llanos, coming from the palm oil places, the rivers, and a lot of animals that comes around from coming here. In the winter, you can combine between uh, going party in a car from Yopal to to the river and in the ri then you do you uh, change to a uh, to a canoe coming here that will pick you up coming to the to the act. so by air by land or by water or three combined. types <laughs> or combined <laughs> of course so is there something else you would like to tell our spectators all over the world? Um, being able to, to, like I say to my daughter, and, and I was also uh, taught by my parents, you, you have the opportunity to enjoy something that is unique that nobody knows. And we part of maintain that uh, uniqueness and romanticism. But 
now you can share it. You can come here and have some beautiful, enjoyable, and unforgettable time that that combines uh, the, nat the nature, the sustainability, and also the people and, and the experiences that you won't forget. So it always so happens something that you don't know, and, and it depends on on what the earth is giving us. Because sometimes you have you uh, you always expect something, but it always amazes you here. Something else happens. Wonderful. <laughs> Thank you very much, Celia. Thank you. Conclusion of Atto San Pablo. I arrived on Friday on various ways with some difficulties, but uh, very exciting ways by plane. And uh, today is Sunday morning and uh, I have to leave around noon back to Yopal. So what can I say about this Hato and uh, offer for tourists? Actually, to be honest, I'm impressed. This Hato offers by far the best accommodation I have seen so far here in the Chanos. Those uh, suites, uh, those are cabins they have, they're great. So if you want to have a great accommodation in the Chanos, this is a fantastic option. Then also they have the access to the river, you see, we're just next to the river so you can Take the boat, go up to another river where you can swing with river dolphins. You can do bird watching or, or scenery watching or also you see usually on the, on the sides of the river you can see and spot many animals. It's great with the talents for photography. The whole place is maintained very well, the staff is very friendly and Silvia, she's the owner and this is something unique you actually do not find in the Chanos. The culture is very traditional and usually the men are doing the work and everything but she's running the Hato, so she's the boss of all the Chaneros, of all the cowboys and she also walks around without shoes all around the place and I'm sure she has the... Uh, everybody's respect because she's a very very smart strong woman very charismatic we had some very very good discussions very interesting place the history and it's a great place and yeah i got a new favorite here in casanare for holidays hato san pablo and there is an additional thing i want to include and during the night if you listen carefully listen this is what you hear when you're in your bed. Can you hear it? Very nice, no? And then around five o'clock in the morning, the natural music changes. And then you can hear that. Listen. And this is how you can spend some days here in the Chanos with this fantastic music during the night and in the morning and then of course horse riding during the day or going with the Chaneros and working with the cattle or you can do a Chano safari, can find the animals. So that's it, Auto San Pablo. I will leave today, we'll go by boat back to the bridge, take my car and drive back home. Send you all the best wishes wherever you are in the world and I hope to see you soon here back on my channel or even better here in Colombia. See you soon. Yours Colombia Frank. Bye bye.